Hey, it's Eric G. Around the House is sponsored by Baldwin Hardware. For 75 years, Baldwin Hardware has been known for its first class quality and craftsmanship in door and cabinetry hardware. As an alumnus of the Baldwin Hardware Design Council, I can say I have seen the details and quality from design to the finished product. If you're looking for a new style and old world craftsmanship, I can tell you there is only one Baldwin Hardware. Check out what would look great in your home at baldwinhardware.com. It's Around the House. When it comes to remodeling and renovating your home, there is a lot to know, but we got you covered. This is Around the House. Welcome to the Around the House show. This is where we help you get the most out of your home through information and education. Thanks for joining me today. Happy midweek special, guys. Well, we have got storms rolling in all across the country. It doesn't matter if you're on the East Coast, the South. Midwest, West Coast, it is a stormy time of year. And if you've got any storm-related problems that you're trying to figure out how to do with your house, you can give me a call at 833-239-4144. That's 833-239-4144, and I'll see if I can help you. So a couple of things I wanted to mention, and we talk about it this weekend in the show, but uh, if you do end up having to file any kind of a homeowner's insurance claim on damage to your house... This is where I say slow down and think through and make sure that you're making the right kind of claim. And I know people are like, what are you talking about? Well, if you have a pipe break because it froze and it ran water through your kitchen or your bathroom or another basement, something like that, a lot of people go, oh, my, I flooded my basement, I flooded my kitchen. Unless there is water from the outside that is groundwater that is coming in, I would not use the word flood in any of your conversations with your insurance company or your insurance agent or anybody like that. That is not a flood. That is a frozen pipe that broke and caused water damage. Because anytime that you start using words that you might have a different deductible for or not even coverage for flood insurance. You need to be really careful and be very exact when you make those claims. And this is why I always say that uh, when in doubt for a big claim is you hire a public adjuster to help negotiate with your insurance company to make sure that things get covered correctly and you have an expert in your corner to help navigate. But that's one of the biggest things that I see out there is people making claims. And because You know, the insurance companies, many of them don't enjoy paying them out. I don't think anybody does. But if you make that claim incorrectly, you can make it hard or impossible, or you're going to have to fight a bigger battle to fix it later. So when you're dealing with this, if it's a pipe break, all right, pipe broke, you know, call it what it is and make sure that you don't just go, oh, yeah, the my roof blew off and it flooded my bedroom. Nope. Your roof blew off and it caused water damage. So just think about how you make that claim, what you do with it, and uh, be very, very careful of that. So when in doubt, consult a professional and make sure that you're doing it correctly. It'll save you a ton of headaches. And uh, when in doubt, if you can fix it yourself many times, you're better off because by the time you hit the deductible and they try to hit you with higher rates, just be careful, guys. Um, The little stuff might be something that's a good DIY project. If it's a big one, that's what you're paying it for. But no sense making it more difficult as you go. Well, one thing here that I've been talking about um, that I wanted to just touch base on here as well is is it's funny because in my show uh, Around the House Northwest, the television show, uh, we've had some segments that have been just absolutely blown up. And you know something? I, I laugh at the negative comments on it. Because you're always going to get some, and the more people that watch, the more negative comments, because that's the way we are today. But one thing I want people to understand is when I do these things, I read the directions. And many times when we're doing these let's test it, or we're doing something, I'm trying to follow the poorly written instructions that the company has given us in the packaging. So I'm trying to do this as 
you, a homeowner, or even you as a contractor would be opening a box up and following those directions. And you know something? Sometimes these things are appearing to be knockoffs or anything, even though I'm buying it on Amazon. It's it's a it's a copy of something else. And maybe those uh, instructions get lost in translation. So uh, some of these things are some of the I tell you what, as I've been doing these less, t- let's test it things on the show. It is freaking hilarious because some of these instructions are so poor that you're out there trying to figure out how to how to use it. And now the funny thing is, is ironically, I have a feeling that those are the same ones that people have bought these things off Amazon and are turning around trying to figure out by watching videos and they find mine. And that's my best ability to use their instructions to do that because I'm trying to give it an honest review. And if they don't have good enough instructions to use it or they don't tell you how to use it, that's when I look at it and go, okay, I'm going to review that on your instructions, not on me figuring out a better way to use your product because I want to be fair. So part of that is instruction writing and making sure that they're clear. And if they are, guess what? I'm going to follow those directions because I have to read through some of these things. It took me hours to figure out how to use because the instructions are that poor. And a great one was the knife sharpening episode. That thing, the instructions were so bad. It took me an hour just to get it set up right because it was so vague, so many pieces missing as far as uh, how you set it up. It gave you kind of a weird overview that was out of order. But uh, anyway, you guys know what I mean as far as bad instructions out there. And that is one of the bad parts of having to buy. And this is part of the plan is to buy these inexpensive pieces and not the high quality ones that we normally see. And uh, those instructions are part of the process of why they're a $30 piece instead of a $100 piece or something like that. So we've got a lot more test that's coming up. So uh, that'll be coming up on the television show. Something I want you to check out. And everybody stay safe this week uh, with all of the storms. We've got a big one coming in on Friday, Saturday, which looks like it could be interesting. But as we know in weather in the Pacific Northwest, uh, that uh, being Wednesday and it's two days away, uh, it could change a lot between now and then. So it could be 50 degrees instead of 17. So we'll just see what happens. It's going to be kind of interesting. But you know something? It's funny. I have had a um, I have had a snowblower that uh, I've had to test out for probably three years, and I've not been able to do it here at my house. Uh, it's a battery-powered one that I wanted to test out, and you know something? Haven't been able to do it because I haven't had snow, and I wasn't going to drive up to the mountain to do it. So uh, hopefully we'll get some here in the coming weeks and get to enjoy that a little bit more. All right, everybody. Uh, hey, make sure you check out our YouTube, uh, and you can find a lot of stuff on our YouTube videos. And the easiest place, you can find the uh, KBTV Fox 12 page, but you can just go over to AroundTheHouseOnline.com and see our, geez, 265 plus videos over there. And we've got everything from Made in USA products to uh, projects I've been tackling to a lot of new stuff as well. So there's a lot out there for you. And it's going to be a lot of good stuff for you to take a look at. So I hope you will enjoy it. All right, everybody. Well, I got to get out to work. I got some more TV to shoot and some more radio to plan. We got some big stuff coming up that I can't wait to share with you. It's going to be a great 2024. We'll see you on Saturday. Thanks for tuning in to Around the House. We've got a big show this weekend. I'll show you on Friday. Thanks again. Somewhere unseen and undiscovered Anywhere beyond the mean Life is a love song, let's be lovers We're all over the radio Take my Hey, it's Eric G. from Around the House. Are you planning a decking or siding project this year? If you are, you've got to check out my friends at Millboard. Millboard is a completely different kind of composite decking and cladding that enhances outdoor spaces with enduring distinction. Hand molded from the finest oak, it realistically mimics the natural grain and color of premium hardwood. If you're looking for something that doesn't look like plastic and instead real wood, check out millboard.com. Make sure and check out that interview we did just a few weeks back. That's millboard.com.